All right, let's pray. Hands together. Close your eyes. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this morning. Uh, thank you that the children can come and learn from your word. And I pray that you bless our time and the games later on. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Very good. Come in and take a seat, boys. All right, last week. Who remembers what we learned last week? Pay attention, guys, up here. Uh, up here. Don't let, don't let people coming in distract you. Up here. Eyes up here. Hello. Noah. Eyes up here. Can I see everyone's eyes? Let's see. I see everyone's eyes. Good. Who remembers what we learned last week? Oh, there's a hint. <laughs> Who remembers? Do you remember, Zephy? True things, that's right. Here's a hint. Sarah. On the mind, what do you think it was? What do you think it was? Telling the truth, that was part of it. Think on these things. Think on these things. Simon has a good memory. Think on these things. Finally, my brethren, whatsoever things are... Put your hand up. Whatsoever things are. No? Ah, your auntie, auntie got it wrong. Whatsoever things are. Whatsoever things are. True? Very good. Whatsoever things are true. Whatsoever things are. Who remembers this one? Honest. Honest. Right? Making a deal. Whatsoever things are. Ah, the, the only, you know this one. Whatsoever things are just. Very good. Whatsoever things are pure. Whatsoever things are lovely. <laughs> Whatsoever things are of good. Good, good report. Good report. Make sure you, you got to choose you. Good report. If there be any. Starts with V. Start with V. Virtue. Virtue. And if there be any. Starts with P. R. P R A I S E. Praise mayonnaise. No. If there be any if there be any praise. Think on these things. Okay? That's what we learned about last week. Those are the sort of things you want to think about. Oh, here's something we don't want to think about too much this week. The love of money. The love of money. We're looking at a verse in Timothy today. This is where Timothy gets his name. He is named after Timothy, one of the first bishops in the Bible. 1 Timothy 6. I'll read this for you. Everyone up here, eyes up here. Atticus, Noah, stop playing, please. Eyes up here. For the love of money, the love of money is the root of all evil. This is what I want you guys to remember. For the love of money is the root of all evil. That's what we're going to talk about today. Which while some coveted after, do you know what coveted means? Eyes up here, guys. Eyes up here. Jordan, up here. Which while some coveted after, who knows what this word means? Coveted. Thou shalt not covet. Who knows? Anybody know? Covet. Covet's when you desire something, when you really want something. Some people really want money. They have erred from the faith. They've done wrong, haven't they? They've erred, erred, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Pierced. Goes through with many sorrows. They did themselves a lot of damage because they are chasing. Money. Money, money, money. Right, so who knows what money is? Everybody knows what money is. Is this what you think of when you think of money? Money? You guys know money? That's what you think of when you think of money, right? This isn't money. This is just pieces of plastic people write numbers on. And they say it's, you know, the government tells us <laughs> it's worth something. Pieces of plastic. This is real money. Here we go. Real money, gold and silver. So you guys don't even know what real money is. You look at this and you're like, what? I can see it on Zephy's face. Like, what's this? Oh, this is? This is money. No, this should only have value because of this. 
Gold and silver is the Bible's money. And God has made gold and silver and it has its value. Now, you can, money itself is not bad. You can do some good things with money. You can do some bad things with money. Who can think of something good to do with money? Can you think of something good to do with money? Something good to do with money. So, sorry? Donate. Yeah, you can help somebody else with money, can't you? Well, you can do some bad things with money as well. Think about the lost son. What did he do that was really bad? What did he do with his money? He wasted it on, he wasted it on himself, didn't he? So, money can be used for good. Money can be used for bad. But today, we're not talking, we're not saying here, the Bible doesn't say that money is the root of all evil. The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. So money can be used for good or for bad. But some people, they just want money because they just want money. And they just chase that and they want to, we don't want to be like that. Because why? It's the root of all evil. Now what does it mean to be the root of all evil? Here's a tree. And here are the roots. This is an interesting photo, isn't it? I don't know if it's a photo or if it's a painting. But you can see all the roots go into the ground. Who has helped their parent? Who's helped their parents with gardening before? Need help? Oh, that's good. It's good to see some hands go up. Have you ever got that one plant where the roots like really deep and it's like oh, you can't pull it out, can you? Now why is it so hard to pull out? Because the roots go in really deep. Can you imagine trying to pull this tree out? With all its roots in the ground. Oh. So what do the roots do? The roots make it strong, doesn't it? Can't get it out. And what else? This is how the tree gets its food and its water and its nutrition. Feeds it. Makes it even bigger and stronger. See, so this is what we got to be careful of. Love of money is the root of all evil. So the love of money is going to make evil powerful, stronger. It's going to feed it, isn't it? So we need to be careful in our own life. We don't want to just chase money, do we? We want to use money for good and not for evil. Who knows what evil is? Anyone have an idea what evil is? Danny, do you know? When you do bad things, that's right. When you hurt other people. So the love of money can fuel, it can feed these things and we need to be very careful. Why have I got this picture here? What do you think? When you die, that's right, this is a tombstone. When you die, RIP, they say, rest in peace. Now let me ask you, when you die, can you take your money with you to heaven? No, you can't. So isn't it kind of silly if you live your whole life trying to get more and more money, but you can't take it to heaven with you? That seems like a bit of a waste, doesn't it? So we don't want to spend our life chasing money. Right? Money is useful, money is necessary, but we want to use it for good and not for evil. Isn't that right? So, again, let's read this together. This is 1 Timothy 6.10. Ready? For the love of money is the root of all evil which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Okay, so who remembers? The love of money is what? The root of all evil. And who remembers what evil is? What's evil? Evil. Being rude, yeah, that's, that's evil. Evil? Doing bad things, hurting other people, right? So the love of money powers that. Okay, hope you guys learned something today. So you don't want to spend your life just chasing money because we can't take that to heaven when we die and it can cause a lot of problems. All right, today we're going to play some games. So let's stand up. We're going to go outside. And I think Katarina's out there waiting for us. Daddy, <laughs>